Hey guys, Max Opie Queen here, and it is super early in the morning, so I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit different than normal, um, but it's currently the only time that I really have to record now, so I decided to go ahead and do this while I had the time, uh, but yesterday they dropped a big update for Apex Legends. The old ways event is now currently going on um i don't know if you could really call it an event per se it's kind of the same as like the system override as far as events are concerned uh, because there's just these little um things that you can do over here on the side and once you do those you get the points and of course getting the points increases your progress bar to give you some different cosmetics and different items as you level it up um of course getting all the way to the end will give you the final item that you can get um it is kind of a shame though that they're giving us a bloodhound event but the only free skin that they're giving us is a gibraltar skin it's kind of weird to me um but it's kind of the same as the revenant one with the system override thing that they did where um you just level up your progress bar and nothing has really changed as far as like uh map changes or anything like that as is concerned um everything's pretty much all stayed the same um the only big difference really i think that's going on right now is they have added this new area into the world's edge map uh it's called the trials area over by skyhook and that's pretty much the only thing that's different it's kind of like the mirage area over over there to the left um or the wraith place or the octane place over in king's canyon um other than a map change like a physical little difference there's nothing too much different that's happened um and you guys know how these events go uh like the first few days of the event any new area that you go to the whole entire server is going to go there so it's just going to be a madhouse um the first few days and probably for about a week or so but after it calms down that's pretty much going to be empty and you can go through it and look around and see what's all in there uh i did my best that i could but of course like i said with it being brand new, everybody's coming in here and just, it's, it's a madhouse right now, so, um, there's not very much to show right now. Of course, I will try to do some probably later on and get into this area and obviously show it off a little bit more, but right now there's just no way to do it, um, for me, that is. Uh, but that's pretty much the only thing that's different as far as the changes go. The, there was a big patch basically that happened. So there's a lot of different things that have changed uh, as far as the patch is concerned. You can see there's, there's a lot of these little monsters now that appear that attack you. The little wolf looking creatures. I don't, I don't know what they're called. Um, but that's pretty much it. I think as far as this area is concerned um so i wasn't able to get too much footage for this area um, but obviously if you're going there you can experience it yourself uh nothing else really too big i know the patch notes um have said there's a lot of things like lifeline has actually gotten a new um thing that it can do a new skill it's kind of like a a passive one that it has now, Lifeline has, she has a secondary thing she can do. Um, other than that, there, there isn't too much change as far as the maps are concerned. Um, they brought back King's Canyon, which has been back for the, um, for the second half of the Rank series. So King's Canyon is actually back around for normal games now you can actually play that as well uh they made some big changes as far as like 
map rotation is concerned and I'm hoping this is something that they're going to change um, after the event is over because I really don't like it. I actually, I actually hate it and I really hope they change it after the event is over with um, but I don't know if they will because considering the event is in the Bloodhound area and you can't do the Bloodhound area really like all the time um, yeah it might be sticking around and that's something that's gonna be a little annoying for me honestly uh, because you guys know how I feel about Kings Canyon it's not my favorite um, at all uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about basically with this big update um, there's a little timer that you can see um, in the the bottom left area where you go to choose like your um, you guys you guys seen it down there right where you go to choose it says trios down there um, it's got a little timer that's going off and that timer changes every hour or two every couple hours or hour and once it changes the map changes so you could see there it said king's canyon on it um so you're gonna play king's canyon for about an hour to two hours and then king's canyon is going to change to a different map and after that it's going to change to a different one and you might be thinking well it's just two which is going to change from king's canyon to world's edge it's not that bad no, well, it's actually kind of bad because they've actually went ahead and put back in um, Kings Canyon after dark as well. Uh, yeah, was, I don't know whose idea it was to put in Kings Canyon after dark, but n no one I don't think asked for this. I don't know. Maybe they did. I hated Kings Canyon after dark and when the Shadowfall event was announced. I was excited about it at first, but then after it happened, I was just kind of, ugh, I was kind of not sold on it, and I didn't really like it because it was, it was super difficult for me. Um, but yeah, they went ahead and added this in too. I'm just kind of dumbfounded right now as to all the stuff that's happening. Um, I'm hoping it's going to change, but I don't know if it will. I wish they would just let us choose which map that we wanted to play on, honestly, because I would rather do that than do anything else at this point. Like this whole changing thing is kind of just making me where I don't want to play because when it goes to King's Canyon, I just want to stop playing until it goes back to World's Edge. I don't really want to do anything with King's Canyon. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, since they've split up the rank series, where the first half was in World's Edge and the second half here is in King's Canyon. Whenever they do the timer and it rolls around to King's Canyon and King's Canyon After Dark, then I just pretty much go ahead and do ranked games because I, I don't see a point in doing anything other than the ranked stuff right now. Um, because if I'm going to play King's Canyon, I might as well make it count for something and do the uh, and do the ranked stuff. Because this this right here doesn't really appeal to me that much. Um, but I did get a couple of games on some of the stuff that's been going on right now. And I will probably post those a little bit later on um, as well maybe throughout the, the next couple of weeks or so I'll probably post some of my games and we'll just continue on with some more Apex content since things really haven't changed uh, too much as far as those are concerned um, the only thing that I can really say other than that with the patch note it's, is that they gave um, a big buff to Revenant um, which is very helpful now because a lot of people were saying Revenant wasn't very good as far as um, being competitive was concerned. So they did get the buff to Revenant, which I can tell it is a lot better now. So that's that's a big difference, um, and that's good to see as well. 
But other than that, um, there was a change to Lifeline 2. Um, Lifeline, like I said earlier, has a new passive skill that she can use. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Only thing different is like when you see those little, you, you saw them, a couple of them so far. Uh, but when you see, you will see them in this match here. When you see the little blue bins, you'll have your red supply bins. But there's some blue supply bins. Those are the ones that um, have a sec secret compartment in them that only a lifeline can unlock. Um, and it will just give you um, some extra meds, some shields, cells, and stuff like that. Nothing too big, but it is just something extra for a lifeline to kind of make her a little bit more playable. But I think people were saying that she wasn't... Um, it wasn't very playable or useful on this new map um, with the World's Edge map, so this is something a little bit different to add to her that she can do that'll be a lot more useful, I guess, if you're needing some extra supplies to make her more of like a, a healing up type of um, character more than just a... Uh, or to make her more of a support, I guess instead of just being the healing character that she is um, to give her a little bit more to her, I guess. Um, I don't personally have a problem with Lifeline, but uh, I don't know. I guess that's why they did the changes to her. Um, other than that, there's nothing too big. There were some buffs and some nerfs to some of the weapons, um, but I'm not going to go through all those. Of course, you can look at those. They have the patch notes available for everyone now, so we're able to view those. Um, whenever you would like to look at all the different changes and things that they did to uh, the maps and stuff, Duos is back, of course. It's back for, um, I think for good now. It's going to be back forever for those of you who like Duos. I'm not really a fan of the Duos stuff, so uh, yeah. Not really something that I will be wanting to play, uh, although you did see me playing duos in Kings Canyon. I, did, I didn't originally um, have the duos in Kings Canyon, it's just our third player left, so that was that was pretty much it. We just decided to just go ahead and play the map, um, but other than that there's a little bit of changes I guess too, like Wraith has a change where her portal doesn't last. Uh, very long if it's inside the uh, if it's outside the circle uh, I think people were talking about that as being something that needed to be uh, fixed because people were using it to avoid damage outside the circle um, which I think is fair because if Life lifeline can't put her drone up and heal herself outside the circle then you know I don't think Wraith would be able to exploit her portal to do that either um but i think that's pretty much it as far as what's going on right now in the game um i think we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and get it out of here and let you guys watch the rest of this match um like i said there's not too much different about the map so i can continue to record a few games for you guys and show them for the next few weeks um, even if the event ends, and I don't think it will make much difference. It's just not too different of a change to anything. Um, but I think that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and you will keep watching and watch the rest of the video. It's not too long. It's not like a super, uh, super long video, but I just thought I thought I would show the rest of it. And I will obviously be going back and showing those other matches as well. The one that I had from Kings Canyon and the one that I had from Kings Canyon After Dark. We'll show those, of course, um, a little bit later on in the coming weeks and stuff. Uh, but I just wanted to make this video to show for you guys what's going on with the event and get some more content out, of course, on Apex. Um, but that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. You guys can watch the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy it and hope you enjoy the event. And I will uh, I will see you guys in the next one.
absolutely one shot. There is a new kill leader. New kill leader. Eyes out farm. I got you. Shields up. Thank you. Last one down and a boom boom. Good kill, friend. Attention. The champion is the champion. Second shield, healing you. My champion just fell. They must not be the... <sighs> and I'm back in the game. Med kit here. Repairing. Deploy and head gone. I've got an Evo shield here. It's cool. Level one. Thank you. It's go time. No hammer points anywhere. Phoenix, get here. Listen up, I'm calling a lifeline package in. Adios, cargo box. Hola. Let's take care of this way. Extended heavy pack here. Level three. Dibs. I need heavy ammo. So this is zip. Here I go. Oh, that's got a kick. Let. Okay. Sí, por favor. Using grapple. Might be something good this way. Reloading. Reloading. 
Brush it down. You lost this one. We're doing great. Only two enemy squads remain. Healing. Oh, this is taking too long. We're all inside the ring. Good. Body shield here. Level three. Sentinel here. Yeah, I could use that. Attention. Delivering care package. Backpack here. Level four. Incoming care package. Gotta hop up here. I'm your receiver. Anytime, brother. Listen up, I'm calling a lifeline package in. Phoenix kid here. Body shield here. Level extended heavy mag here. Level three. Care package Helmet over here. here. Level three. Objects here. Round Sniper. Three. Beginning ring countdown. Not all. Mastiff here. Must Barrel stabilizer here. Faster. Level three. Taking the master. Teams just flying. Enemy over there. All company, and they're not here to sell me chickens. Copy that. Must go faster. Zip line deployed. Let's explore this way. Until the ring closes. You like cutting it close, huh? I think that. Faster, faster, faster! Ten seconds Drone till right ring here. close. Let's go, let's go, let's get shot at. Engaging! Focus. 